Chapter 1, verse 5. It is you we worship. One of the wisdoms behind this verse using the word you instead of the name of Allah, the exalted, is to remind Muslims to strive to reach excellence of faith whereby they worship Allah, the exalted, as if they are observing him and therefore, conversing with him directly. In a long narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 99, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him explained the meaning of it, which can be translated to mean excellence. This excellence refers to one's conduct and behavior towards Allah, the exalted, and the creation. Acting with excellence has been mentioned throughout the Holy Quran, such as chapter 10, verse 26. For them who have done good is the best reward, and extra. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, has explained this verse in narrations found in Sahih Muslim, Numbers 449 and 450. The word extra in this verse refers to when the inhabitants of paradise will be blessed with the divine vision of Allah, the exalted. This reward befits the Muslim who acts with excellence, as excellence means to lead one's life as if they can witness Allah, the exalted, observing their outer and inner being at all times. A person who can observe a powerful authority watching them will never misbehave out of awe of them. In fact, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, once advised someone to always behave as if they were constantly being observed by a righteous man they respected. This has been advised in a narration found in Imam Tabarani's al Majam al-Kabir, number 5539. Whoever acts in this manner will very rarely commit sins and always hasten towards good deeds. This attitude creates the fear of Allah, the exalted, and acts as a shield from the fire of trials in this world and the fire of hell in the hereafter. This vigilance will ensure one not only fulfills all their duties towards Allah, the exalted, but it also encourages them to fulfill their responsibilities towards the creation, the peak of which is to sincerely treat others with kindness. This person will fulfill the narration found in Jami Artemisi, number 251, which advises that a person cannot be a true believer until they love for others what they love for themselves. This level of excellence ensures one acts with the right intention, which is the foundation of faith according to the narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 1. Success is guaranteed for the one who performs good deeds and demonstrates good behavior with the right intention namely, to please Allah, the exalted. The more excellent a person acts the stronger their faith becomes until they become a Muslim who is far from heedlessness and is always struggling to beautify their hereafter in worldly life according to the teachings of Islam. It is feared that the opposite of this reward will be given to those who turned away from Allah, the exalted. As they lived without fearing the all-encompassing gaze of Allah, the exalted, they will be veiled from seeing him in the hereafter. Chapter 83, verse 15. No, indeed from their Lord, that day they will be partitioned. Those who fail to reach the level of acting as if they witness Allah, the exalted, must act on the second part of the advice given in the main hadith quoted at the beginning. This person should sincerely believe that Allah, the exalted, is constantly observing them. Even though this state is lower in rank than the one who acts as if they observe Allah, the exalted, nonetheless, it is a great way of adopting true fear of Allah, the exalted. As mentioned earlier this attitude will prevent one from committing sins and encourage them towards good deeds. As advised by the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. In Imam Tabarani's Al Majam Al Kabir, number 7935, the one who strives to adopt this mentality will be granted shade on the Day of Judgment by Allah, the Exalted. The Divine Presence of Allah, the Exalted, is mentioned throughout the Holy Quran, such as chapter 57, verse 4. And He is with you wherever you are. And Allah, of what you do, is seeing. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, has advised to adopt the true awareness of the Divine Presence of Allah, the Exalted, in many narrations. For example, in one divine narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 7405, Allah, the Exalted, declares that he is with whoever remembers him. This is the reason why it has been reported in Hiliat al Aliyah, volume 1, pages 84 and 85, 
about the commander of the faithful, Ali bin Abu Talib. May Allah be pleased with him, that he shied away from the glitter and pomp of the material world and only found solace in the lonely night. Meaning, he sought the companionship of Allah, the exalted, rather than the companionship of people. Adopting the awareness of the divine presence of Allah, the exalted, not only prevents sins and encourages good deeds but it also prevents loneliness and depression. A person is very rarely affected by mental health issues when they are constantly surrounded by a person who loves them and aids them. No one loves the creation more than Allah, the exalted, and there is no doubt that he is the source of all aid. Therefore, acting with excellence benefits one's faith, actions, emotional state and the wider society. A Muslim must avoid becoming like those who treat Allah, the exalted, as the most insignificant of those who observe them. This is a serious spiritual illness which leads to all types of sins and evil behavior towards Allah, the exalted, and the creation.